what I wore. Yeah, baby, the what I wore episodes are back. I'm doing it slightly different. I did go ahead and watch some of my old videos from the what I wore series. This is something I did in my first year of YouTube. And there were several things about the series that I didn't like. One, I was showing you guys too much of the inside of my house. So I've decided to actually delete the series. And two, I was moving the camera around too much because of what I wore series I did in the mirror and it made me feel quite a bit nauseous. So now we're just going to add in clips of what I wore. If you are new to the What I Wore series, most of you probably are because when I did this series long, long ago, I was under 500 subscribers, I believe, so they didn't get very many views. But what it is, is basically I share with you guys what I wear in my day-to-day -day life. If I don't get ready that day, if I don't do makeup or put any effort into my outfit, I'm not gonna share those outfits. But when I get dressed up, if I'm going to church, if I'm going out to lunch with a friend, if I'm going out on a date with hubby, I'm going to share that with you guys because I want you guys to have a real representation of what real people wear in the real world when they go out. Now I am mid-size. I'm a betw between a size 8 and a 10. I lean more towards the size 10. These days I am 5 foot 6 and I am 165 pounds. None of these outfits were curated just for YouTube. They are exact outfits that I wore on specific days. So this first video has actually quite a few outfits. I'm going to stop rambling and get right into it. This first outfit was inspired by my good friend May here on YouTube, Mrs. Leva, because she was creating outfits with brown and black together. So I wore a black pleated skirt a black belt. It's my one and only black belt that I have in my wardrobe. I am the type of person who likes to buy lots of certain things, but not so much lots of other things. So since I don't wear belts on a regular basis, I only own the one. I also had on a brown cardigan, which I really, really love. I bought it from the Nordstrom anniversary sale a couple of years ago. I wore my Valentino sandals, which of course I absolutely love. They are my only pair of designer sandals. And to make it a little bit more of a hobo look, I went ahead and I paired it with my Jody bag. This next outfit I actually didn't feel my best in. I decided to go out to lunch with my husband. We went to Angry Crab, which is a place that reminds me of my brother Daniel. He passed away in February and I actually wore this a few days after his passing. And I went to Angry Crab in order to kind of remember him and just celebrate him. He is the person that took me to Angry Crab for the very first time. So I wore this gingham skirt that isn't necessarily the most flattering on me, but it's very comfortable and it's really cute. And I'm trying to learn that it's okay to wear outfits that aren't necessarily flattering. If you feel cute and put together in it, then that's all that really matters. I went ahead and wore this cinched kind of puff sleeve top that is cropped. I can only wear this top with this skirt because I don't have anything that's high-waisted enough for me to wear this top. And I'm just not at a stage in life where I like to show off my belly. But I think it's a really cute top so it does stay in my wardrobe. I often use it for filming because it has a little bit of extra detail up top and you guys only see the top part of me anyhow. I paired it with a pair of white Target sandals. I actually bought these sandals thinking that I would get tired of them rather quickly, and I haven't. I love them, I use them quite often. They're pretty comfortable, they're pretty squishy. And I paired it with my newest bag from Mulberry. It is hiding, I don't think you'll be able to see it. It's way up there. I, w I wore my pink mini Alexa bag and I have been really, really enjoying this bag. It's the perfect size for a weekend bag because it holds all of your everyday essentials very easily, but it's also a nice, cute, petite size. Outfit number three is actually something that I wore to my brother's funeral. I promise this is not a negative video and it's not about my brother. I have spoken enough about this. This is the last outfit that I have to share with you guys, but I did want to share it in case anybody ever needs funeral inspiration. Of course, different funerals and different occasions are going to have different dress codes. For my brother, we didn't care if he wore black or not. So I went for this deep plum two-piece set 
and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It was satin, it had tigers all over it. I believe it was tigers. It had green and black and plum. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was perfect for the occasion. It was outdoors, it was a little bit chilly, so it was, a, it was warm enough to keep me warm. I paired it with a pair of plain, simple black pumps, and I also wore my Bottega Veneta uh, pouch bag to bring in a little bit liveliness, a little bit of color in such a sad, dark day. This next outfit I actually really, really like. I wore it to go on a, a lunch date with my husband. I had just started my lady time. I wasn't feeling good. I didn't feel like getting up and getting ready. But my husband and I recently have had things come up on almost all of our dates. So I wanted to prioritize it. And I really wanted to get ready and feel cute for him. So I wore this black pair of trousers from Target that I've been trying to make work for me. And up until now, I feel like I haven't been able to make them work for me. I wore it with a black button down, so an all black outfit. I paired it with my YSL camera bag, the striped camera bag, to add a little bit of extra something. I love the way that my hair came out this day. It was day two curls, so I had done big loose curls the day before, and then I just kind of brushed it out, and I took a, a round brush underneath my roots just to add some volume to my roots, and that's all I did, you guys, and it came out beautifully. I wore a pair of Nike sneakers because I wanted to be comfortable. It wasn't necessarily a fancy date, and I just love the way that this outfit came out, especially because it's so not me. It's not a typical Melissa outfit. Outfit number five was my favorite white express jeans. I love how high-waisted these are. Because I'm five foot six, I have a hard time finding jeans that actually go up to my belly button, and these ones almost go up to my belly button and that's why I like them because they're not a mid-rise on me they're actually a high rise they're very flattering and I love to wear them with a button down top now the reason I love to wear them with a button down top I'm going to be raw and honest with you guys is because they're size eight and they are so tight that they give me a little bit of a muffin top on the sides, a little squishy squish. So I like to wear a loose flowing top, tuck it in and in front. I still have that slim streamline look, but it's not showing my little extra squishy squish on the side. So I really like the way that this outfit came out. I paired it with a pink button down blouse that I absolutely love. It's one of those pieces in my closet that I rediscovered. I've had it for years and years, probably 10 years now, you guys, and I've just rediscovered it and I really, really enjoy it. It's a nice, thin, sheer material. And because I live in Arizona, it's perfect. I paired it with a pair of Steve Madden sparkly jeweled mules, which just elevated it a little bit more. And then of course I had to wear my pink bag, which was my pink mulberry bag. This next outfit is another outfit that I didn't expect to love quite as much as I did. I felt like a million bucks this day. I wore a denim skirt from Abercrombie. It's a size 10 and you guys, it's just a little bit too snug. Not in the fact that it's too tight or it's hard to get on. It's really tight on my bum. So when I walk, it kind of wiggles up and the slit in the front scares me. So I don't wear it very often, but I decided that I was just gonna go ahead and wear it this day. And I actually found that I was more comfortable in it the longer I had it on. And then of course, the more you walk and stuff, it loosens up just slightly so that it's not wiggling up quite as much. I paired it with a blue and white stripe shirt that I thought looked kind of like denim from a distance. So it was that denim on denim look. I'm really into denim right now, you guys, if you cannot tell. And then I paired it with a pair of Veja sneakers because my toes were ratchet. They really needed to be done. I only get my toes done every other month so by the end when it's time to get them done they look really bad and I wear a lot of tennis shoes I was actually just talking to my husband about this I think I'm gonna go ahead and start doing them every month now that we're getting into the summer months because I don't like having two weeks where I'm like I only can wear tennis shoes because my toes look so bad I paired that outfit with one of my favorite bags which is my Louis Vuitton Croset if my toes were done, I probably would have went for a white sandal with this outfit. Outfit number seven isn't my favorite outfit. I was exploring and playing with pieces in my closet. 
I have this satin dress or silk dress, I'm sorry, this real silk dress from Daisy Silk and I love it. The color is so scrumptious, you guys, but I don't always get to wear it because I do feel like it's a little bit fancy. So I decided to wear it as a top. One of my hairs just fell out or came out. I decided to wear it as a top and kind of tuck it into the sides and let it flow down. I felt cute this day when I was wearing it. Will I do it again? Probably not. I have worn it with white jeans similarly. If I could find a photo, I will share that with you. Where I just tucked in one side and I think I, or no, I didn't tuck in anything. I just left the bottom unbuttoned and let the jeans peek out when I was walking and put my hand in my pocket and I thought it was really cute. This other way, I think it's cute as well. It's just not my preferred. I did wear it with my YSL white Lulu bag. I am looking at my sheet. If you guys keep seeing my eyes, I do apologize. And then I wore it with a pair of old navy jeans and my Veja sneakers. This next outfit I loved quite a bit more than I thought I would. That is just the, the theme of this video, I think. Sometimes I put things together and I feel like they're gonna be super, super basic and then they surprise me. So I wore a pair of jeans. These are American Eagle jeans and they were way too small for me, you guys. They were too tight, but they were the look that I was going for and I got them up and they buttoned and they zipped and they worked just perfectly fine. I just couldn't get weight couldn't wait to get out of them after church. And then I paired it with this cropped top. This is the perfect crop for me. I got it from Target. It has a short sleeve. It looks like linen, but it's not linen. It has buttons that go down and it fits where it, the crop hits right at the top of the jeans. That is perfect for me. It's really hard for me to find a crop top because I do have a longer torso. I do have a larger chest. So my larger chest pulls the top up and then my longer torso obviously makes it so that you can see more and then my jeans don't go up to my belly button. So usually on a crop top, there's a chunk of my belly about this much that shows and I don't like that. So this top is perfect. And then I paired it with a pair of espadrilles. I've had these for years and years. I only pull them out of my closet probably less than five times a year. You guys, I don't wear them very often but I hang on to them because I think that they are so stinking cute and they matched perfectly with this outfit. They're just a cream color with the espadrille bottom and then they have a cute little elephant on top. And then I paired it with my Alma BB, the Parisian street sign, this one right here. And I thought that was the perfect amount of funky coolness to the outfit. You guys know I don't like things too simple or too plain, but I really, really was fond of this simple plain outfit. Outfit number nine I was really excited about. I went to lunch with a friend. This is a friend that is the wife of my husband friend so she is a newer friend to me and I was really excited that she asked me to go out to lunch with her because we've never been out together with just the two of us before and I really got to know her and she really got to know me and I do feel a good deep friendship brewing the outfit I wore was this white dress it has little blue details on it it's from American Eagle and I think it's really really cute really flattering perfect for summertime I opted to wear a denim jacket over it and I wore my new denim coach bag with it. So it had multiple denim pieces plus the light blue and white and I love to wear denim with light blue and white. I think that it is the perfect color combo. And then of course I wore my Veja sneakers because again, my toes were not done for like two weeks in a row, you guys. They looked really bad. And because I get gel on my toes, it's not like I can just take the polish off and do them myself and kind of freshen them up. So the sneakers were part of the outfit. I think it came out really cute. I don't know if my toes were done if I would have went for a sandal. I think I still would have chose the Veja sneakers with the casual denim look. Last but not least, this is one of my go-to favorite dresses, especially on bloated days. It is a free people dress that is double lined. So it, it's kind of puffy at the bottom, but because of that, you can't tell if you're bloated or if it's just the puffiness of the dress. I decided to print mix because of somebody I follow on TikTok. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, you should because I share all of my bags usually over there first since I have a smaller uh following over there so i share it there first when i get impatient about sharing it here on youtube i also share my outfits over there 
in real time. So whatever I'm wearing that day, I share it over there. So I, I always have that link down below if you guys are interested. But I follow her on TikTok and she's doing this series where she is print mixing all month long. And I decided to give it a go. So I wore my black free people dress with a print. And then I wore these snake skin print shoes. I believe that they're by Steve Madden. They are extremely uncomfortable boots, so I don't wear them very often. The bottom of the shoe on the interior has no cushion whatsoever, but I wore these shoe, this dress and these shoes to actually go get my nails done. This is what I did. So that was recently. It was actually just last weekend, and I thought it came out really, really cute. And then to keep with the flowy, loose, hobo, mixing print type of vibe, I decided to go with my Jody bag. You guys. All right, guys, that is everything that I have worn for the last two months. As I mentioned, I don't dress up every day. I actually only dress up usually twice a week, which are both weekend days. I don't dress up for work whatsoever. I don't work in a type of environment where it's necessary and it's kind of one of those things that if I were to dress up, it might get in the way of my job. So I don't necessarily dress up for work. I don't know how often I'm gonna share this. Right now I'm thinking bi-monthly. I feel like every month might be a little bit too much, but at the same time, I don't want these videos to be too long. So let me know down in the comments below, would you rather me do them every month or bi-monthly and have about 10 outfits to share with you every other month? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.